Hello everybody and thanks for tuning in to this. This is the Lap 599 Discovery TX500 DIY Battery Pack. And I'm just going to refer to this as the TX500 to shorten that long sentence. So I purchased my TX500 last year, July 22nd, 2020. And it uh, was shipped to me September 28th, uh, 2020. So I didn't have to wait that long unlike some people this year, but I see that they are starting to fulfill orders a little bit more rapidly now that 2021 is here. So I mainly like to do 3D printed accessories. From a previous video, you see these covers and caps, but this is about the battery pack. So why need for an attached battery pack? Because uh, previously I used the supply cable and I made a adapter, uh, an Anderson power pole adapter, that I could plug into uh, your basic 3S lithium polymer uh, batteries because I had a lot of these from flying um, drones and other RC hobbies and they're small portable. This gives me, I think 1300 milliamps, which is plenty enough to power this, but you know, I kind of got tired of the wires and I just wanted something that was more all in one, all inclusive. So, um, I'll put up some pictures of the first battery pack that Lab599 rendered uh, on Twitter, and then our second one. So, I'll kind of base this battery pack, I'll go ahead and start rotating this around now, off of their first uh, rendition. And I know later they changed to 18650 cells that are uh, user swappable. But I kind of like this one, and so I just ran with it. All right, so let's put this back down while I talk about uh, what's actually inside of the battery pack. So it's an ABS printed housing, two shells with uh, two end caps. And as far as the battery, it has quantity six of these 6056-2C, they are 3.7 volts, 2000 milliamps. So six of these wired in 3S-2P, that gives 4000 milliamp at 12.6 volts a uh, simple BMS lithium ion this guy is rated up to 10 amps which is more than enough for this radio simple on off switch or sorry uh, not on off it functions as on off but you know two two position switch uh, DC power uh, DC barrel jack this is the 2.5 millimeter one like 5.5 by 2.5 millimeter, the big boy. And these. So the back of the radio has this type of spring-loaded pogo pin already built into it. And this matching half is what magnetically connects. So there's two of these. I'll also have to put up some pictures of what the back of the radio looks like if you do not already know. So let me go ahead and turn the radio on. For the switching, it's pretty simple. Um, up is off and it allows you to charge the radio down is on and that means it powers the radio the battery pack because i did not want it to be able to charge the radio while operating the radio uh, a little safety feature okay so there you see it it works nice and compact the battery pack is thinner than a radio body itself it's held on by two M4 screws that go into the body of the radio itself. They are in line with these screws. Same hole. Sorry about the close-up video. I don't have the best camera, but this is the best way I want to try and get this out. This is a prelim video. I want to do a build video once I get all the components necessary to make some more of these and a better printer. But I'm getting there. So this is a little teaser video. I couldn't wait for Lap 599 to release their battery pack. Uh, who knows when that's going to be. So I do plan to release these files in the near future and also offer uh, this battery pack for sale. So thank you for watching. Leave comments if you have any questions and stay tuned for the next release.